What's going on, sneaker fam? Your boy Jake back with another retail versus retail review, man. Salutes to Nike and the sneakers app with exclusive access on the military industrial blue fours and salutes to JD Sports for exclusive access on them as well. Um, I know they had a ton of restocks already. This is almost two weeks after the release, but um, they still were kind of hard to get, you know, if you, you know, if you didn't move fast on them. But regardless, let's get on and do it. All right. Retail versus retail. I'm going to try to be fast about this um, because it's in the morning and I have to get to work. So first things first right here, uh, two different colors on the on the gray. I guess that's typical. All right. So the labels. Uh, labels look the same. All right. Got the lids. Lids are the same. All right. Speckle paper. All that looks good. Let's pull these bad boys out. I'm gonna gotta move fast. Like I said, I gotta get to work. And I've been pretty much I had some other things going on, so I'm really behind on my content. So you guys just be patient with me. I have a ton of content. Trust me. All right, just got to get this one out of the way. All right, boom. All right, so. It look like they got the hang tag on. Left shoe, left shoe, okay. All right, the hang tags are correct. Let me straighten these boys out. How we looking, how we looking? Uh, stare down, stare down. All right? All right, the toes, man, they look exact, right? I was like, take a look at the back. All right, so we do this here. Let's see how that's looking. Make sure it's all even. All right. What you guys see on camera, the height, the Nike. Everything looks pretty much correct. Take a look under the shoe. There's one thing that was different, and I'm going to uh, address that, which is, I think it was this one, where it looked like it was like the... The outsole right here, here, like it was protruding out a little bit. I think I showed it on a, on my real versus fake, but I'm not sure why I don't see it here. But that one looks a little janky on this one. It looks a little off here. It's a little strange. We'll take a look at the caging and the cajuns was off on these you can see them here that's the one from sneakers that's the one from jd yeah the cajuns caging is off take a look at the opening yeah material wise has the give Three columns in here, one, two, three. Even the fakes had that. So it's not much to look at here. Um, four minutes in, the tongue height looks well just by eyeballing it. I'll pull this paper out and take a look at the insole. Ooh, where's the paper?
So we got Dream Cell Insole. Oh, down here. Take this bad boy out. Take this paper out. I think I actually got them mixed up. I think this is the shoe. This is the shoe from the sneakers app. I mixed them up. And the one on the right is the one from JD. Dream Cell. Because that's the one that has the front protruding out. So, my bad. Listen, I had. I usually don't do multiple takes. But <laughs> I'm just going to correct myself on this one. I'm not re-recording this video. So, so, this is what I actually do now. We just switch them over. That's what happens when you're just busy. So this is JD. And that's sneakers. <laughs> that's what happened. I had two takes. I had my kids interrupt me one time. Then another time, I didn't have my phone on um, do not disturb. And messages came in. Everything was just all messed up. So this is take three. And I don't care. <laughs> I'm one take Jake and that's it. Um, I'm going to weigh them and blacklight them. The Dream Cell insole. I didn't take a look at the uh, the uh, footbed. And I'm sorry that I'm a little off on this video. But let me take a look at this footbed. It says size 12. Take a look at that stitching if you can. All right. Same thing here. It says the size 12. I think the fakes had the stamp on the inside. So. And I'm going to leave the paper out on this one. And I'm going to take a look at the uh, production dates. After the production dates, I weigh and black light them, and then I put this video to the close. Um, retail versus retail shouldn't take that long. Sometimes it does, but um, in this instance, it should not. So, take the paper out of that one. Since I don't know what I did with the paper with the other one. So, production date, L&M. 82323 11 10 23 let's see the factory here it is it's L and M but this one's this one's all messed up um L and 4 10 20 23 Oh, my bad. <laughs> They're both LN4. I'm not sure. Why did I see LNM? Yes, LN4. <laughs> my bad. LN4. Losing it. Your boy is losing it. All right. All right. Let's get this out the way. See, there it is again. There it is again. I just had this thing working. I think it's my adapter. This is just a complete L video. <laughs> this is just the L video. It's getting posted. I don't care. I have to put batteries in that thing if that adapter is not working. We got some stuff here, a little residue, residue all on the midsole. You can see it worse on the one from JD, residue all on the midsole, residue, residue, residue. There's no lines, there's no dash marks, of course. Uh, 
Nike Air in the back is glowing. Nike Air is glowing in the back. Yeah. So. That's how we looking. That's how we are looking. So. I'm mad about my scale and I'm a little flustered because of that. But it's all good. All right. So basically there's just a flaw in the outsole on the one from sneakers um production dates are the same all the flaws from the cages they're all equally the same the laces are the same hang tag everything completely the same so uh it is what it is not too bad i've seen worse like comment share subscribe it's your boy jake signing out peace